Yeah, we're done. <laughs> we finally finished. It's awesome. i am just kind of been sitting here. The guys have left. This has been a project I've wanted to see come together for literally over three years. Just imagine sitting in your hot tub right here. Nice warm hot tub, snow's falling, and then that's your view right across here. So remember that hot tub comes right up to here. Then you look out over this, and that's what you get to see throughout the winter. Fish swim up into this area to get fed. Like how awesome is that gonna be to feed your fish as they swim up into the stairs? That is the footprint right there of our aqua blocks. Think, should we still put a sphere back there? I'm not 100% sold on doing a sphere there. I like one more element, but they don't need another element. Mm. There's plenty going on. We got about 17 I of them. I guess you guys won't know until the very end. Mm -hmm. So they're actually not gonna know a lot of things, like the way the water rips through here, the way it comes over that rock. Whether or not we do a sphere, they're not seeing the lights, they're not seeing a lot of stuff. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> we finally finished. It's awesome. I'm just kind of been sitting here. The guys have left. This has been a project I've wanted to see come together for literally over three years. And all I can feel now that it's over is maybe a little bit grateful that it just turned out as cool as it did. And grateful that we have such a crew that can share in my vision and help me put this together. Chris, Matt, Micho, Udi, Corey, Ryan, everybody that came together to put this together is so incredible. And so I'm super appreciative and I hope the customers are too. Without further ado, let me show you what we all created. Right, so there's so many things I just want to kind of recap for you and the different viewpoints, the theory behind the design, the madness behind the design and how it all kind of came together. Where I'm standing right now is right where the hot tub would be. And just imagine sitting in your hot tub right here, nice warm hot tub, snow's falling and then that's your view right across here. So remember that hot tub comes right up to here. Then you look out over this and that's what you get to see throughout the winter. Eventually there'll be a 
bunch of evergreens and stuff and I can just already picture the snow coming down and that big waterfall is set to run all winter long. We have all kinds of extra areas. We can add more plants kind of cascading over the edges. I think I'd do evergreens, just junipers and stuff just to keep that green all winter long. And then of course, this is all still gonna be a deck in through here to come out here, sit down by this rock, put your feet in. Whether you wanna put it on a dry stone or a wet stone, you can sit down, cup of coffee in the morning and then look across your pond like this as fish swim up into this area to get fed. Like how awesome is that gonna be to feed your fish as they swim up into the stairs? These planters, when they're all filled up with plants, are gonna look amazing as that blood good Japanese maple starts creating a little bit more of a canopy, making this area feel way more intimate. It's just gonna come together so nice. This deck continues this way. It actually cantilevers out over these rocks, or these wall stone, level with that, and then there's more of a bar feeling right here. And then you get to discover this whole waterfall, which you never saw before. And it's just such a simple, cool waterfall. In fact, let's get over there and get a little closer look at that. But what I like about that is from sitting over here, you see the sunken patio over there. And then you have these stairs that are going to lead to it. Do you remember? Now there's a big pergola that's coming in over here. So these stairs lead down to the sunken patio. As you come over here, you get to discover another waterfall. And down there is that 4,000 pound rock we put right on the bottom. And look at how that water just pools up down in there and then spills up over these edges over here. You get a pretty simple waterfall there, but effective, right? I love the way it splits. We get a little bit coming through here, a lot coming through here, it just kind of rolls over this big rock. And then you come over here, and the viewpoint from here is just insane. This sunken patio. Remember, we're gonna have a big granite bench seat right in here, which will look great. Then we get up closer to this waterfall, and maybe one of my favorite waterfalls because of the simplicity of it. It's just two giant rocks with a little three inch gap in between, and about a four foot little horsetail fall coming all the way down. And then it comes in here, and then of course we split it to come around in there. We'll get some aquatics up in there, aquatics in our upper pool. We've got the weeping red bud, dwarf bald cypress planted up in there. Both of those are, uh, that one's being fed by some water from the pond. If you look around this way, we've got our wetland filter with a little sphere topper on it. That thing all lit up at night's going to be insane. And then the wetland filter just kind of has this meandering stream look to it as it comes down through a, yet another waterfall. which will be visible only from the pergola space over in here. And so a really cool waterfall coming down in here as that hillside creeper starts creeping. I mean, that thing will get like 10 feet wide at some point and start kind of coming out over this. I think we need some height in there for plants. But again, a pretty simple waterfall, but very effective. Water ripping underneath all of those stones is just awesome. Oh, I just can't wait to see this all come together. I got one more view to show you, and that's from inside, and that's the view that counts. So let's see if this all worked out from our views inside the house. I think the view from inside the house looks pretty epic. I mean, this is what's gonna be their kitchen area. They've got these big sliding glass doors looking out to that waterfall. And every morning, whether they're outside or inside, get to see that right outside the big main view from inside the house. And that actually carries all the way back into the family room. As you go down the basement stairs, it's just gonna be incredible. And then their kitchen is like all over in here. So even as they're doing dishes from this area in here, they'll be able to look out, see that waterfall. And then from this room in here, which is gonna be kind of their outdoor living space with their outdoor kitchen and everything, they've got these big folding doors that go boom, 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 boom. I call them Cabo doors, because it's the only other place I see them. But look at the view that they'll have from inside this place here, looking at all of that. And I can hear it from inside the house right now. So if I can hear it from inside the house with the doors shut, imagine how much sound there is when you're outside. Just amazing.
So I'll have to admit, my favorite projects are not the ones where we spend this much time on them. Sometimes you start getting a little burnt out towards the end of it and you just want to see some new scenery, meet some new people, work for some new customers. But what I do love about large scale projects is the ending. And the ending is always epically dramatic. And this one is no substitution for that at all. I mean, it's just, it's so insane. I love it. If it looks this good now, imagine what it's gonna look like all planted up. If you guys felt like it was a long process with the seven or eight different episodes we put together, imagine actually working out here, putting this all together. So hopefully you guys thought it was worth it. Please, 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 please hit like, leave me some comments. Let me know what your favorite part about the whole process was. Should we condense it down a little bit more? Or did you like that it actually took eight episodes to get to this point. I appreciate so much that you guys tune in and follow us. Keep doing that. Hit like, hit comment, share it, tell your friends because we're going to do something even cooler in a couple more weeks. See you soon. Bye.